Usually you will buy a young Nepenthes, but after some years it will become adult and then start to vine. The problem is reporting a vine is harder than reporting a small Nepenthes. So that's going to be the topic of today. Hi, my name is Remy, and on this channel I explain everything I know about how to grow Nepenthes on a windowsill. So if you are new, consider subscribing. So I have a vining Nepenthes. Uh, it's Maxima by Talagensis, a great beginner species, uh, really awesome. It will pitcher winter, summer, it's always pitchering, it's really great. And it's starting seriously to vine. Uh, the bamboo stick that I had before is too short. So I have to report it, but it's already kind of um, on the balance. I don't know how to say that. Uh, the center of gravity is too high. So that means when I push gently the, um, the bamboo stick, the wall pot starts to almost fall. So I need more weight. The center of gravity has to be lower so the plants don't fall because in some months, it will just fall on the ground in the middle of the night, I'm sure, and that's gonna be a pain. Uh, and you can easily break this vine. So um, it's better to attach it, uh, just because it won't be able to sustain its own weight. Uh, after some point, it will just uh, lay on the, the ground and cover the other plants. So you want that other bubble stick, and uh, that's gonna be the reporting for today. So as you see, it's getting tall and tall and taller. So now this is the new one. It's really high. And if we check, I will try to put you. So before I was able to put a finger between the two grow point here from the next leaf. Then it was the same, then slightly more, you see. And then it was more. And that's how you tell it's starting to vine. That's four finger, even almost five. So as you see, that's starting really to, to, to vine and to become a really tall plant. So I need absolutely to uh, report that. And um, again, I, I was attaching it on the bamboo stick, but uh, now I, I I can't. I mean, I will attach that here and that's going to be it. That's too tall. So I plan to have it in a different spot. So I will show you. So here you see the, the full plant almost. And the next one will be that. So as you see, bigger pot, taller bamboo, clearly taller. And that's going to be it. So. That's the plan. When it's starting to vine, you want to repot it. And there is two choices here. The first choice would be if it's starting to vine and you have some basil, you could easily cut the vine and let the basil like grow. The basil will uh, just go bigger than plants because it will have the old mother roots and uh, you will be having cuttings. But in my case, I would like to have some seeds. So if I cut the vine, I will never have a flower. I will never have seeds. So my plan here is to let it vine as tall as it wants. And I have plenty of space up there uh, on the windowsill. So that's going to be the plan. So it will be like uh, last uh, video. It was a uh, hard repot. That's going to be almost the same. We will take as much uh, substrate as we, we can and uh, we will hope for the best. I will just show you that. That's the surprise I got recently. I don't know if I can. You see, there is one here and another one here. Two nod that activated. So that means the plant is uh, about to start having two other vine. That's why I really need to start doing something. Okay. As you see, I already attached the, the bamboo, the old bamboo, but this time I did a better job because uh, one, uh, one fixing the, the bamboo at one point was not enough. So I decided this time, I don't know if you see that. Basically, I drill four holes, put the uh, zip tie and then 
it's attached. So basically everything is together. I hope it will don't move. The, <laughs> this one was starting to move. That's why I decided to attach it. But now it's time to take it out. No roots under, which is good. That means I will be able to unplug it quite efficiently. Okay. Okay. So uh, not that bad. Uh, the this, this num is just great. I mean, I could report it, uh, hard report and etc. But uh, I feel like, uh, sorry for that. No, it smells good. Uh, if it starts smelling like bad, rotten eggs, etc., you want to clean the substrate. But this one looks good. Yeah. So, um, a tons of roots, obviously, loose at the bottom. But again, you see there is plenty of roots. So, I will just try to report it right now in this one, and that's gonna be it. Sphagnum, orchid barks, and a little bit of perlite. But again, you see it's really a lot of drainage. So my plan here is to have that uh, heavy enough. And then again, there is nothing really complex here. You just take the whole thing. And I will just plug it. Okay, good enough. So what I will do now, I will take the old bamboo stick out and try to keep the, the vine straight. There is another one here. And yes, you, you cut all the, the old stuff, the old um, leaves, everything. Okay. Okay, so here it's not bad. I would be able to attach it here. Okay, so attach it where you can. There is no good way of doing that. I mean, you see that it was centered here and then there is plenty of space now. It's no big deal. You do your best and Mother Nature will do the rest. Okay. And one other one staying, see? By moving this leaf here, it's resting on this part. So. That's good. And then the last one for now, because again, it's growing so fast. This one is really vining this year. It was not like that before. Okay. So as we see, uh, that's almost the maximum I have for now. Um, I still have some, maybe 30 centimeter, a foot, something like that. But after that, I would have to find another way to attach it. And I mean, if it was the last jump between the two leaves, the next one should be here and here. So in maximum four leaves, uh, I will run out of space on this bamboo and I will have to redo it, find another way. Maybe directly attaching it on the, um, the the bar I have upstairs. But keep in mind, here I add two grow points. If they start uh, growing uh, really well, that could slow down the main stem. So um, clearly it's no big deal to me because more stem means, means just more picture on the long run. So I will just complete uh, and fill all this, but um, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there is uh, an alternative of uh, reporting this vine. You could basically cut it. If you have basal shoots and you cut the main vine, all the power of the roots will go to the basal shoot. So you have great picture, etc. Uh, and the vine, you can easily uh, shop that and do cuttings, rooted cuttings, and sell that, trade that. So that's uh, the, the only other option. But keep in mind that if you cut this vine, you won't have a flower. And for me, I really want a flower. I want to make my own seeds, uh, especially with a beginner species like that. Uh, I'm sure I can have some uh, decent uh, plants out of it. So I need this vine to stay there and to flower to provide me seeds. 
that's why I uh, do this whole thing and uh, that's it. So uh, until next time, happy growing.